Okay, question 31. Steel electric fields. Uh, here you have a negatively charged oil drop of mass M between two horizontal metal plates, a distance D apart. Okay, what is the potential difference between the plates when the potential difference between the plates is V1? The oil drop rises at a constant speed. All right, let's draw. So we have the oil drop. It's rising with a constant speed V1. Okay, so if the speed is constant, then uh, let's draw all the forces. Obviously, the weight matters. If not, why did they give you the mass? So this weight matters. This would be mg. All right, and uh, there's no buoyant force because oil drop is suspended in air or Okay, but there's probably drag force. Okay, so if you can see here, air resistance acts on the drop when it is moving. So if it's traveling upwards, then drag force, which I will use rate, will be downwards. How do I know? Because drag will oppose motion. All right, up thrust is negligible, so there's no buoyant force. Since there's no buoyant force, uh, there's only one force that can balance D and Mg so that there's no acceleration. And that force here would be the electric force. Okay, so the keyword here would be constant speed. Constant speed here would mean that your force is in equilibrium. Equilibrium, net force is zero. So we're going to write a force equation for this case. You will have the up force Fe will be equal to D plus Mg. Okay, and we know F is equal to QV. Okay, but I'm just going to call this Fe1 first because there's a second part of the question. It says that when the potential difference decreases to V2, the oil drop falls at the same constant speed, meaning the drag force is the same law, because drag force is dependent on the speed one. All right, so I'm going to redraw the oil drop to readjust the forces. Obviously, weight will still be in the same direction. Mg, but now your oil drop is traveling downwards. So this is your V2. Okay, your potential to V2. Let me adjust this one. Okay, and this is V1. Not okay, the potential. So in this case, right, when you decrease your potential, the speed is going down. Sorry, this is lowercase v. Let me label properly again. So speed is going up, drag force is going down. In this case, second case, speed v2 is going down, the oil drop is falling, meaning the drag force is pointing up. This is d. All right. So in this case, the electric force don't have to be so big. Lo. This Fe2 will be smaller. Why? Because drag force is helping it. What? So in this case, I can say that drag plus the electric force 2 is equal to mg. Okay, once again, net force is 0 and it applies for both cases because constant speed. All right, so right now, if you look at these two equations and then you look at all the options, there is no term in capital D, no drag force. So I need to find a way to substitute my drag force. I guess maybe I can rearrange this and that. Okay, so a few ways to do this. Um, maybe I'll just rearrange this. I get Fe1 minus D is equal to mg. And this one, Fe2 plus D is equal to mg. Sum of the up force is equal to the sum of the down forces. All right, so can I take equation 1 and equation 2 and maybe add them so that D will cancel off? So I will take equation 1 plus equation 2. Okay, I know that there's no term in Fe1, so I'll probably have to substitute a bit later, but no matter. So here Fe1 minus D is equal to mg plus Fe2 plus D is equal to mg. So I'm writing an extra step for you in case you need it. So minus D plus D, it cancels out. Bye-bye. And what you have left is uh, Fe1 plus Fe2. And this Fe1 plus Fe2 oh, is equal to 2mg. To find this, you can take Qe1 plus Qe2. 
we are looking for Q, right? So I'm going to factorize Q. And why is E1 again? The potential V1 over the plate separation D. E2 will be the potential V2 over the plate separation D. So this is what I mean by it's useful if you make sure that your notations are consistent. All right, this is the potential difference of capital V, not the same as the speed of the particle that I labeled on top, not the same as this speed. All right, so now we can uh, rearrange, I guess. Q will be equal to, this is the common denominator, bring up to multiply MGD, or M times D times G. Where is my two went for a walk? This is two MGD, so this is two MGD over this one is v1 plus v2 no? so in this case the answer is b all right so that's it so this question is pretty similar we have done quite a few in this paper actually questions that require you to draw the diagram of forces and use f equal to ma or in this case equilibrium net force is zero forming equations and trying to either solve them or find an expression Alright, so I'll see you in the next question. Bye-bye.